Hi everyone. Thanks everyone who joined our alpha program for Mariners Cup. Thank you for all the feedback. One of the things that was mentioned was that uh, Mariners Cup looks like a fun selling game, but for those of you who don't know how to save, it's a little bit uh, intimidating. But I thought I will record this short uh, one or two minutes video and I will explain a couple of sailing basics that you need to enjoy uh, Mariners Cup. And hopefully this way you'll be able to join the fun uh, right now. And you know, I really hope to see you on the water. We currently have a group of around 10 people or so sailing uh, pretty much daily and competing against each other for the last uh, month or so since we made the uh, alpha public. And I really hope to grow this number to, you know, hundreds. So check out the video and hopefully see you on the water. All right, so here we are on the boat and uh, we have two controllers and a laser pointer and uh, we can use the grid buttons on the controllers to uh, steer so you can grab the wheel and turn it around and we can teleport and you know crank this uh, handle to s uh, adjust the mainsail and i guess the first thing we have to figure out is to how to get this boat moving so first of all uh, if you see there is a wind direction and we are in so-called uh, no-go zone we can actually see it here on the compass. Uh, this red area uh, basically shows us the no-go zone. And no-go zone is basically this area where uh, it's against the wind and we cannot really sail uh, there. Uh, that's the area in which the boat stops. So to get out of the no-go zone, uh, we need to turn the boat uh, out of it uh, one way or another. And that's what we'll do now. Uh, we'll go to the right. So let's do it uh, by steering slightly to the right. I guess one thing to notice is that our sails are flapping uh, and if we pull in the main sheet uh, which is uh, controlled by this thing in the middle uh, our, sail will stop flapping, uh, our sail will stop flapping and will start moving. And the same is true for the uh, jeep which is the front sail uh, which is adjust which is controlled using that handle on the right and yeah if we want to stop the boat uh, we can just go back into the no-go zone and then we can pass to the left uh, and go into that other direction so that pretty much covers uh, sailing up and I guess if you want to sail directly into the direction where the wind is coming from you just have to follow the zigzag course uh, back and forth Okay, one thing to notice here is that even, our, even though our uh, steering wheel is turned completely to the left, our boat is actually sailing straight. And that's because the mainsail is uh, very tight and it's putting a force that is trying to rotate the boat to the right. Uh, and the two forces are pretty much balancing each other. So if we want to continue uh, turning to the left, we need to let go of the mainsail uh, and that way the steering wheel can push the boat uh, to the left. Uh, so we just cross uh, the line of the wind and uh, we are on the another tack, uh, on the left tack. And we can actually, you know, uh, turn back into the wind and we can do it both using the wheel, but you can also use the force of the mainsail if we make it slightly tighter, uh, it will pull a force on the boat and the boat will start turning to the left. Uh, so you can try that now. Uh, and yeah, basically using sails and steering wheel, uh, we can help the boat uh, turn uh, faster or slower, depending on uh, what we're trying to do. And that pretty much covers the main basics, I guess, of the boat handling. Uh, we can go around a uh, you know, circle, uh, going in all directions. And really all the rest is about uh, just finding the best settings on the sails to get the best possible speed. And I guess if there is one thing you're going to remember from this video is if you're sailing up, uh, then you need to have your sails tight. And if you're going downwind, you need to have your sails uh, loose. Alright, so we actually have races and we have a weekly race series and this is a current uh, weekly race leaderboard 
Uh, you can see we have a representation from a couple of different countries, uh, but would love to see your country here as well. So join us and hopefully uh, we'll grow the number of sailors representing their, co their countries. Uh, so there it is, uh, that's Oculus Quest, uh, it's just a headset and two con controllers and that's all you need to join us on a sailing course and compete with us. That's it, uh, thank you for watching and hopefully see you on the water.